Hello my friends, hello, it's Matthew Street. Welcome to my channel. As always, I truly appreciate you being here. And folks, I am over the moon about this recommendation. Whew. Let me tell you folks. I'll give you some of the backstory and I'm gonna bring it right up to today because folks, the album I'm gonna talk about today could be, no, no, I'm not gonna say it could be. This album is definitely gonna be in my top 10 for 2022, it's that good. It's by a group called The Fizz, and the album is called Everything Under the Sun. Folks, I'm going to be talking all about it in a minute and tell you why I love it so much. As you can see, my copy is autographed by the band, which I'm very, very happy and excited about. But let's go back a little bit. You're probably saying, who are the, if you're from the USA, you're probably saying, who are The Fizz and why should I be in love with them as much as Matt is? Well, I'm going to tell you, folks. As you know, back in the old days, a long time ago, Matt Street was in the United States Armed Forces. I was in the Air Force, assigned to the United Kingdom for over two years. Yes, I lived in the UK, and I loved it. One of the greatest, greatest opportunities and times of my life, which I'll never regret. The friendships I made, the things I saw, the things I did, the places I went to, the music I experienced, uh, I, I could go on and on. Uh, getting to Liverpool, <laughs> Beatles fans, uh, it, was, it was a wonderful experience. Folks, when I was over there, I was there from 19, late 1979 till 1982, and there was so much music, folks, that we were experiencing and enjoying on the bass, in the dorm rooms, rocking out as Americans in the UK that our counterparts, our teenage and young 20-somethings back in the United States were missing out on big time, folks. I'm talking so, I, I mean, I can't even list all the artists I was exposed to and got turned on to by living over in the UK for all that time that my friends back here in the US just missed out on and shame on them and sad for them. I mean, I'm talking stuff like The Jam, uh, Shaken Stevens, who I'm a big fan of. Uh, Susie and the Banshees, um, they later went on to become the Eurythmics, but the Tourist, I mean, groups like that, folks, people, artists that American teenagers and music lovers weren't experiencing, but I got that opportunity to experience and love them and buy their music, and to this day, over 40 years later, I'm still loving their music. Well, one of the great pop groups that I loved when I was over there until I was shipped out, was a group called Bucks Fizz. And I have a CD of theirs back there next to uh, the yellow one there. Uh, all, I have a bunch of CDs back there. So I don't want to pull it down because that whole house of cards might fall. <laughs> I'll be sad. So anyway, it's back there. I have a CD of Bucks Fizz. But back when I was in the service in the UK, Bucks Fizz became huge in 1981. The early part of 1981, um, they won the... Uh, Eurovision Song Contest for that year, and with a song called Making Your Mind Up. And it was, it just went off the charts, folks. It blew up, and it was everywhere, and people loved it, including us Americans uh, in the armed forces, on the bases. Bucks Fizz were everywhere. They were like the top group, vocal performance, pop group. Uh, they were just wonderful, and, and so many people love them, including us American service people. And um, so many hits during that year of 81 going into 82 with Making Your Mind Up, Piece of the Action, uh, Land of Make Believe, which is one of my favorite songs of theirs of all time, My Camera Never Lies. And I had the album, Bucks Fizz, the original first album, which came out in 1981 on cassette. I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, someday I think I'm going to try to get it again online or eBay or something because it has a lot of sentimental value, value to me from being over there for that period and experiencing such great music. So, folks, what happens? 1982 comes, my tour of duty ended. I get shipped back to the United States. And, you know, over time, over years, and new music I'm getting turned to, turned to on over in the United States and whatnot, I lost touch with, with Bucks Fizz. It just happened. They were not as prominent or as known in the United States as they were in Europe, in the UK, and overseas, where they were monsters. They were huge. 
And it happens, you know, a young guy in his early 20s coming back home over time. I, I you know, put the cassette away. What happens to it? You don't know. And it, it, just sadness. But years go by. And folks, three of the original members of Bucks Fizz, Jay Aston, Mike Nolan, and Cheryl Baker, get back together. This was in the mid 2010s, I want to say, about 2014 or so. They reformed uh, due to, I won't get into all the legal stuff, they couldn't keep the name Bucks Fizz, so they became The Fizz and started releasing a series of wonderful, stellar albums. And in addition to my Bucks Fizz CD right there, I have all three of their albums they've released since 2014. They're all wonderful and stellar, and I don't want to waste this video on talking about them because this is all about bring in the new, folks. Bring in the new. 2022, they are back again with everything under the sun. If you go to their website, you can get an autographed edition, I believe. I shouldn't say that because I heard rumors that it sold out so quick. You could only get it on their website, and I believe it sold out. I'm sorry to say, folks, but you can still get the recording. You can still get the CD. The vinyl, which I've ordered, is on a pre-order, which should be coming uh, in a couple of months, I believe. So I've got the vinyl coming, a nice, beautiful, colored vinyl. But here is the CD signed by Cheryl, Jay, and Mike. Oh, this means so much to me to have this, folks. Beautiful back cover as well. All their albums are designed and articulated by Jay Aston. She does a great, great job. Um, then you have lyrics and credits on the inside, folks. The back is right here. Folks, I don't know how to say this to you. The Fizz are a fabulous band. They've picked up not only where Buck's Fizz left off with stellar pop music, ear candy music, but they've taken it a step further. They've brought it to today. They've made it relevant in 2022 and made it so wonderful, so uplifting and joyous that you're, you're just, your mind's going to explode with happiness if you get this album and listen to it or any of their albums, but certainly the brand new one. This is my favorite of all the stuff they've released. Okay. Everything they've released thus far, this is my favorite. And I love all their stuff. There's not a bad album piece of music in the bunch. So I wanted to go through it with you folks and express to you how wonderful this album is, Everything Under the Sun, and encourage you, please, if you're, if you're afraid to pinch your pennies and, and go, you know, get the hard copy right away, at least sample it a little bit. I don't have the technology to play samples for you. I just don't have the, you know, the ability to do that for you. So take my word for it or go to your favorite streaming service and, and see if you can listen to it in some fashion. And if you can't do it there, go to my good friend Stephen Schnee's channel. He did his review on this album recently, and God bless him, he's better at technology than I am. He plays snippets of these songs, and you can hear them. And folks, and if you don't fall in love with this music, there's something wrong with you, because <laughs> this is great pop music. This is great ear candy, hooks galore, melody, harmony, playability. It's all here, folks. Again, this is going to be in my top 10 for 2022, guaranteed. Now, you get 10 tr great tracks on this album, all right? And I'm going to go through each one with you. So listen along. We'll get in and out of this video. I want to make it as quick as possible. I don't want to lose you. First song is a song called I Wonder... I wonder where you are right now. Well, I just read it. I wonder where you are right now. Great, great song. Love this as the opening, folks. Neat guitar licks in it. Great guitar solo. The hooks are so many that it pulls you right in. You say the fizz are back. They're, they're here. They're classic. They're melodic. I just love it. I love the guitar work on that first track. And you just love it. The lyrics are so good. It talks about kind of the music business a little bit, how, you know, there's so much flash in the pan music, like we have our, you know, the period of punk rock, and then there was glam rock, or other things could be like uh, grunge or disco. You know, everything has their moment in time, and it all ends up passing. But, you know, sometimes we need to let the past go a little bit and let's mix it up a little bit. We need real talent today, right now, interesting. And it's just a very interesting take on the music business. I love it. Second track is Everything We Do, We Do It For You. And I love this breezy, catchy, 
pop song. I love the vibe of it. It's such an, I wonder, I think it's an ode to the fans. It, it, it could be an ode or paying homage to family or loved ones. It's just so wonderful, but I'm taking it as an ode to us, to the fans of The Fizz. That's who they're shouting out to, and I love it. A True Heart, beautiful, beautiful song. I love the lyrics, the meaning, the, they mean so much. They're so powerful, what they're saying in this song. The melody and hooks are so prevalent. It's so there, so flawless, great saxophone, but it's the meaning of this song. I don't want to give it away, but wow, it's just such a, a true heart is just so beautiful, what they're singing about. Please check it out. Next song is, When Is Our Luck Gonna Change? And folks, boy, do we need that now more than ever. It's hoping for a better future. It's getting away from the madness of today. And um, not about the material things and or the insignificant things in life. It's all about follow what's important in your life and in your heart and in your soul. Love it. And again, I'm not going to keep speaking about the great melodies, harmonies, hooks, playability, the singing by the three lead singers, and the uh, it's just stellar. I may mention it here and there, but just take my word for it. Every song has that. It's great. Jay has never sounded so better. Mike has never sounded so better. Cheryl has never sounded so better. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Next song, I Close My Eyes. It's like the music is taking you back to a wonderful moment in your life. Um, it's like the wonder of nostalgia for a time that we long for so so long ago. Um, still with the wonderful singing and everything, but I love the nostalgic nature of this song. It, it's just absolutely beautiful. The next one's called Treasure Forever. Now, this is a beautiful relationship song, in my opinion. Uh, it's almost like the couple has been through it all. They've been, they've seen the good, they've seen the bad in their life, yet they still remain strong. They're still fighting together through life. And it's just so positive and uplifting. And the hooks of this song just pull you right in on Treasure Forever. It's just absolutely, absolutely marvelous. The next one is called You Can Find It Here. And it's just so danceable. This has got to be the most danceable track on the album. Uh, fun, fast paced pop. That's the way I, you know, my first thing I thought of when I heard it. I just love the chorus. It's just so uplifting and positive. It reminds me of a little bit of that old group that I love from the 80s called ABC. Remember them? The Look of Love. I, it, it's just one of those songs that reminds me of like ABC influenced. And I love that. So I love this. The next one's called Pretty Soon. This is the big ballad on the album. And it's, it could be my favorite on the album along with I wonder where you are right now. The first song, I wonder where you are right now, and pretty soon could be my two favorites because it's just that beautiful, folks, this song. You have to hear it to believe it. You've got to hear the lyrics to it. It's so encouraging, positive message, uplifting. I was in a funk the first time I heard it, and this song brought me out of it. It just made me think of the special, important things in my life. And I, I just felt that much better, and I think you would too. So look up pretty soon. It, it could be the best song on this album. It's almost got a little country-ish flavor. I could picture this song being on the country charts here in the U.S., and it could be number one, in my opinion. It's that good. I love it. The next song is um, On My Way. Better Run. <laughs> That's in the parentheses, Better Run. And this is just a fantastic pop song. Lyrics, production, like I've been saying, all are there. Uh, it's just maintaining that level of quality of the entire album. The next song is this one. This one is the final song of the album, and it's by Paul McCartney. You have Flowers in the Dirt by Paul McCartney, then you know this one, which is one of the best Paul McCartney solo songs ever created, in my humble opinion. And the Fizz do it justice. They, it's a classic. They, it was a great cover choice by them because they do it so well. And the lyrics, the meaning of the song fits so well with the entire vibe of this brand new album by them that it just, they couldn't have picked a better cover to end this album with. Well done to Cheryl, Jay, and Mike. It just absolutely beautiful. Nice way to end the album and bring it all together. And, uh, folks, this album is pop heaven. It's 80s influence, but it's, it's not, stuck in the 80s. You know what I mean? It's brought up to today and relevant and so loving and beautiful. And um, 
You've got all the members here, and it's just fantastic, folks. Please check out Everything Under the Sun, the brand new album by The Fizz. You will not be sorry. You will not be sorry. Love you all. Get it. Please come back and tell me what you think of it. Sample it. Listen to it. Come back and tell me. I love it, folks. I'm a rock and roll guy. You know that. Two guitars, bass and drums, Beatles, power pop. But I'm a pop music guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I need some water. I'm a pop music guy, and I love this. This is the greatest pop music I've heard in 2022. I love you. Listen to the fizz. Get everything under the sun. I would appreciate it. And so would they. Yes. Love you. Bye-bye.